What's up guys, welcome back to another replay review. Uh, this is a game of myself as the Delhi versus uh, my opponent over here on the, I suppose it's the southeast corner of the map. This is the Professor as the English. And English have been a fun one recently. Uh, a lot of people going with the 2TC. Uh, Abbey of Kings with the King build. So I've been having a really tough time against English recently um i struggle a little more so with their uh, just the long bows and long fetal uh, i have a hard time getting the castle and just competing with that but partially because i generally go dome of the faith versus tower victory so i think that might be a big piece of it but uh so far so good here on the scouting we're gonna circle back here by the market and pick up a nice gaggle of sheep uh let's take a look our opponent's scout is down here on this uh, southwest side already as well so we should cross paths here uh, just pretty standard opening for me I've got my gold way out front uh, out of range of my TC berries are okay but we're real real close to the center here he's just across the way um, his gold's off to the side he's at he's got a pretty long walk for gold as well which could be good for us um, he's opening up on sheep Let's see. Okay. Scouting around to our side. So far, we're doing pretty well scouting. He's got three. We've got eight. All right. We're moving ours to the back just in case longbows show up. We want to be on the uh, far side of the TC here. Um, we've got fills per resource up here. All right. So now we will start rallying to wood. Right, and he should have he should have pretty good timing on his side. Um, he's gonna come behind my base. Looks like he might pick up the sheep behind here, but we're still snagging a couple from from his side. Let's see. So we've got one sacred site way down on his corner, which means we'll have another one up towards here, and then we should have one right in the center, which, which we find here. Stone gold right in the middle. Uh, his big wood line is all the way in the back. Uh, ours is two, and then looks like he's got some smaller ones. Off to the side, uh, one of ours is, again, right out front. All right, and there he goes. He is aging up with the Abbey of Kings. That's well, pretty standard timing, I suppose. Looks like he overgathered food maybe a little bit. And then we are aging up with four as well on the Dome of the Faith. He's aging up with four also. And it's still just four sheep for him. I think we are at, yep, we've got nine. Uh, three there. A few more on this side to snag. We'll see who gets there first. Looks like he may miss a couple. That's right. Missing sheep is a good sign after the last video I posted with the uh, the map hacker just sniping everything. Now, if you look, I have not scouted his base yet, which is a pretty big mistake against English. Because they could do a lot of different things. We would have heard about a barracks already if he was going for a, a Dark Age Men-at-Arms Rush. We are now rallying to wood. Uh... Default, I'm going to go ahead and drop a stable as soon as we age up here and get some godsies out. Uh, we are grabbing these couple of sheep that he missed on the side. So we did pretty, pretty well here. Uh, where's his scout? He's got eight. I've got 11. Um, which means we're probably missing a couple somewhere. That's okay. All right. So he's feudal 418. Not... Terrific time. He's got the king queued up. And we are up. So now that we're up, we're going to go ahead and queue up a scholar. Um, switch up our text here. Drop this table first, and then we'll go ahead and start getting all of the eco techs. Uh, Sanctity is now queued up. And like I said, the stable is going to go down first. We're going to look to get a couple Gazis out. I still have not scouted his base. I've got a little idle time on my. Scout over here, getting everything situated. 
All right, queuing up another scholar. Still keeping the two on gold. All right, and then here comes his king. Again, we haven't seen this yet. There's another. Sh ah, how'd I miss that sheep right out in front of my base? All right, so he's here. But we do react right away. So we're actually going to save those vills. Uh, now we're aware of the king. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm still going to rally my Ghazi just straight across the map. Um, also going to go ahead and get textiles. It's free. It's going to cost me a vill. But that's okay. If it saves a vill, it's worth it. All right, he's hovering back around here on the food. Which is good timing. We've got our scout coming in with the sheep here, so we should be okay. A couple of Ghazis rallying across. So we have we scouted his gold. I don't know a whole lot more of what else he's got going over here. We've got. Alright, we're going with the 111 production. Here are our sheep. And we're going to go ahead and move in with Ghazis. There's a lot of bills here. A lot of times the English will just fight back with these. Uh, I do think we caught him a little bit off guard. Takes him a bit to react. We do get a Vill pick. And we're going to pull back before we take too much damage from the TC here as well. Alright, so we're here. He's got... Uh, his king is still hanging out over on my side. And we are still rallying to wood here. Or switch back to wood. We went to food for a bit. Now we are just kind of scouting his base with the Ghazis. Um, my scout went back, checked that corner. I'm just going to send him back over by the gold. And the king. So the king has come home. So, nice job of causing a reaction there. Uh, we forced the tower, and he's brought the king home. So he is making his way towards an Egypt. Catches out here. Now we can run away from this. We're quite a bit faster than that king. Looks like he got a little bit of a boost there on the charge. Uh, but we've still got a few units coming. Um, Sanctity's getting pretty close. We're just going to rally towards the center. Alright, so we're moving out now to capture sacred sites. This was a mistake here. But we're actually going to get away with it. So. Uh, Sneak through the back door. We, okay. Spearman upgrade hits now. So we got hardened Spearman. So what we probably need to do is go ahead and just wall up this backside. Um, got some army out towards the center to protect the sacred site. Uh, got two of them there. He's not healing him, unfortunately. A little bit of a mistake there, engaging that with just the Ghazis, uh, Spearman coming out. So here's where, we want to stop that, we just want to drop a wall, going through the back. We are housed again. But, we've got one sacred site, second one coming in, uh, I have not moved out to the third one yet. And now, he is on his way to castle with the white tower. He can see me, I'm, I'm not quite catching that yet. We're more focused on making sure we get the the wall up in the back. Uh, we do spot this. All right, and we're gonna knock him off. This is huge to slow this down. He's just gonna give up on it. He's actually gonna move it. So that's that's pretty big time for us as far as timing. Um, still not a bad spot for him. Very close to us. Right. So we are making our way towards an Egypt as well. He does catch the scholar. Yeah, we're pulling his king out from my eco. Alright, we've got blacksmith techs coming in, second blacksmith coming down. All of our eco techs should be mostly through. We'll use another lumber camp here. Oh, should have gotten that one. That's alright, we didn't lose him. Took a couple arrow hits. 
A lot of idle army over here. I just want to run these guys back into my military. Bring the king right to my, right to my peeps. So White Tower going right up in the front. I don't think I saw that. Not sure. <clears throat> so we're right there as well. We're gonna go up with the compound defender. Second blacksmith down. Ooh, uh, not now. All right, so he's up. Uh, let's see where we're at here. So that's on the stone. He's just got the one TC for now. Couple barracks. Uh, what's he going with first? So he's going to go ahead and start with the longbows. So we haven't poured a ton into this military just yet. And I'm, uh, I did go ahead and create a handful more units from Feudal. Just want to make sure I have the, the numbers advantage as we move out and try to take these relics as well. So scholars on the move. He's got a few longbows coming out. All right, he spots me there. Again, we're just going to run right into our military. This should be an easy pickup. All right, so we're up. We've got a lot of things to do back home. we got to uh, start grabbing all these techs. We're going to back up. Pick the easy relic. He's going to snag that one. I've got one way in the back. Um, should be another one, two... Three, four. Should be another one on the way home somewhere, I believe. Right here. Okay, yep. So we picked up two. Third one's about to be snagged. And then we catch him out of position here. This is really, really good for us. But he's got the white tower, which is good for him. I don't want to go too, too far here. Not a terrible engagement for him with us running underneath. We do see he's now taking stone. All right, we've got all our techs queued up. He's over. He's running in too far with this king as well. All right, after our age up, I took all those vills from the age up. We're gathering stone. So we're going to get cheaper keeps that also turn into town centers. See if we catch this. Yep. So we catch that. We don't run too far. Um, third relic coming in. Fourth one there. Fifth one we just missed. So he actually picked that one up. Uh, we're now out here on the map taking food. You can see getting very, very aggressive. Um, we're going to go to these deer way out here. No tower. We got him pretty well locked in his base. Uh, not quite enough for stone yet. My idea is I'm probably going to take... And just try to drop in the center here. Uh, felt pretty good about what I've seen so far from his numbers. Let's take a look at his base. He's now at... Okay. Not quite to enough stone. He's still got quite a few on, on wood. He's got his monastery down. And he's making his farm transition now. So, a lot of wood needed. He doesn't have a lot of production. Uh, he does have a mangonel coming out. Let's see. We have... Also a ton of wood. Ooh, good job by him. So he takes that south sacred site. Uncontested. We'll go ahead and send a knight out that way. You see, military number, not too much different. Um, we just have a ton more on food because we don't really have to take gold like he is right now. If we look at income per minute, I'm actually ahead on gold with the two sacred sites and the... Uh, it now should be, yeah, four relics. And we got yep, all these techs coming in for free. Make sure we're grabbing all of them. Mining may have... Nope, there's the mining. Alright, so we should be pretty far ahead in eco. Yeah, twice as much food. A little behind on wood. More gold. And then uh, more stone right now. Does he have... Okay, he's got a second TC coming down, so... He's putting a lot of resources into this, and so now he's going to have to double produce vills. Not really sure what my plan was with the... Uh, all this wood here. But when the food runs out, I'm gonna need it. Likely for, for food. My farm transition's a little rough. I don't really get any bonuses here, so. Walled up the backside. Again, taking those free deer. As long as we can get away with that, we can hold on to the the wood for a while. 
And we're just way out here on the deer as well. I don't have... He's got deer right in the back. All these deer are out, out front, which is a little tough. So we've got to keep coming down. I'm not sure if he can see that or not, but he's going to go ahead and move out. So numbers aren't too heavily favored for me. I mean, obviously I have numbers. He's got a couple mangonels, so that's helpful. We did send a knight around to his wood line, so this is going to cause a nice bit of idle time. That's a, that's a lot of villas on wood that are idle. He's got a lot on gold, too, which we do not, and we're keeping up there. Very, very helpful having these two sacred sites and four relics versus one. A little bit of a mistake there. If he sends those onto the villas, that might be night night time. So we're really picking up numbers now. Oh, I think he's trying to get to the villas. He does. Oh, just in time. Keeps up. Now, this is a bad fight for him, fighting under the keep. We've got knights on the mangonels. King's already down. We've got a lot of crossbows in the back. And this is more on my side than his. So this is going really, really well for us. You see, he's still struggling for food. So this ends up being a great fight for us. We're going to pull back. We don't want to fight too much under that white tower. We just did a ton of damage, so we should be way, way ahead right now. And village fortresses is almost in. Somehow... Uh, okay, lost a couple of bills on that keep, but also... Must have idled my TC at some point, or been housed. So we're a little behind there. Uh, army value, hugely in our favor. That hurts. So we're going to go ahead. We pulled the Scholars. Um, he's got mostly a melee comp. We can just heal up through a lot of that. So we're going to put the wood to use. Got rams coming through. Uh, what else do we have? Got some of the farms coming through. Another lumber camp coming down. All right, playing this pretty well. Village Fortress is almost in. All right, we're going to fire up three ramps. Knight still hanging out in the back of his base. He's got a wall going up. I missed that. I don't, yeah, can't see it. So if we look, he is pulling a little more gold than us now. Um, oh, yeah, he's got the second TC, so that's where the lead comes from. But a lot of food he's pouring into that. Food they can't use on units. We're going to idle out the back of his uh, eco again. So we can catch a bill here. Yep, so there's another one. But that is a lot of arrows firing through there. Good job on him. So while that's happening, we're going to attack in the front. Ooh, first mango shot goes on to the melee units. So we can spread these. Yep, spread formation. So we're going to eat one, but it's not too terrible. Mango's still up. Now that, that's a good shot. Mango is down. And he does not have a whole lot of military here. We've got bills pumping from two buildings. Taking out a few more bills. Now it's looking like trouble. White Tower's about to go down, and he calls it. So we did take out a few bills on the front there. Um, so yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, fortunate one to go our way. I think a big part of that, as English against the Delhi, I do think the Abbey of the Kings is very favorable for Delhi. Um, they can get units out pretty quickly and it allows Delhi to go ahead and, for the most part, snag those sacred sites. That king can't be everywhere. I do think that helps Delhi get a little too far ahead. I, I So far, I've struggled more with... Uh, it's like the mass longbows with men at arms coming late age two. Uh, that's given me trouble. So yeah, I know that's been a bit of a hot topic. The two TC white tower, um, maybe him coming in late with the TC was, was a little rough, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, if you stuck around to the end, feel free to drop a rating, leave a follow on the channel and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.